Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be testing out the new armored vehicles and putting them to the test and seeing how well they perform against things like bullet resistance, explosive resistance. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some vehicles that I didn't actually get to touch on yesterday. So that was going to be the big question. How are these new armored vehicles going to stack up to the competition? So let's put them through the ropes, sort of similar to the same tests we've done with other vehicles, like the insurgent Karuma and now Duke of Death. So let's start with the armored Tampa and let's start with a bulletproof test. Now big thanks to my friend John for helping me out with this video. Once again I'll leave a link to his Twitter in the description. He was so generous enough to help out and he's the one who's recorded all these gorgeous looking clips so uh, say thanks to him in the chat. Let's start with the bullet test of the armored Tampa and sadly the armored Tampa is doesn't do anything in terms of bullet resistance resistance. Yes, there's a little bit of armor plating that I guess if you end up shooting that you'll be okay, but the windscreen shattered instantly. It showed no resistance to the bullets and even those vertical and horizontal bars really wouldn't prevent you all that much from hitting someone on the inside. So overall, not that impressed with the armored Tampa. From what I've seen so far, all of this just looks to be for looks, and this seems to be even proved more if we test this with a sticky bomb and an RPG to the armor Tampa, as it blows up with one sticky bomb, and it also blows up with one RPG. Are you kidding me, Armored Tampa? This thing isn't armored at all. The best thing this is going to be used for is its minigun on the top. But even then, if all it takes is one sticky bomb or one RPG or a couple shots to actually go through the windshield, you're a dead man. So that's a little bit of buyer beware right there that the Armored Tampa isn't as armored as you look, even though it looks pretty menacing and fierce. So now let's move on to the armored half track, the Bravado Dune Loader. I know this one is gonna be pretty exciting. Let's move on to the bulletproof window test. It did show some resistance. Now, I don't know how to like scientifically test how well it held up, but there was some resistance in the windows, something very similar to the executives and other criminal style vehicles. But at the same rate, you're also getting like that Karuma style armor. So so the slit in which you can shoot in is very small. So the protection you're going to get is massive. Even if you can eventually break the windows, their shots got to be pretty good in order to take you out. Let's test it with a sticky bomb and actually see how many it takes here. And I was very impressed as it took five sticky bombs to actually take out this vehicle. So that means sticky bomb number one, two, three, and four will unaffect the vehicle. It won't blow it up. And then the fifth one actually will. That is a ton of damage protection for this vehicle. So that right there is incredibly awesome. Now, I like this for a couple reasons. Number one, because this vehicle is really, really slow. So you could easily get bombarded with sticky bombs and you would be dead instantly. But also number two, it gives your guy time in the back to figure out what the threat is and thus he'd be able to eliminate them. So I really do like the fact that it can take a large number of explosive rounds via the sticky bombs and then we move on to the rpgs and we see the exact same thing that four rpgs isn't enough to destroy this vehicle and then when you end up shooting the fifth at it the fifth one finally blows it up so that is really cool right there so whether it's rpgs or sticky bombs it's going to work the exact same way and your half track dune loader is pretty explosive resistant puts it right about on par with something like the insurgent which in my opinion is pretty cool now let's move on to our friend the Dune FAV. The Dune FAV doesn't have any obviously bullet resistance. In fact, it doesn't have a lot of damage resistance as it blows up nearly instantly as we're reporting this test right here. But the windows, they're non-existent. There's no bulletproof resistance on this at all. You're a sitting duck if you get shot in this dune. Let's just say that. So have your snacks and your body armor ready. And because of that, there was no need to test the explosives or the RPGs. They both blew up in one sticky bomb. So the dune has no bullet resistance, not even really armored. It's just a makeshift one with a, you know, super crazy uh, minigun or mounted machine gun on the passenger side. Now let's move on to the APC tank, and I was a little disappointed in the APC tank in terms of its bullet window resistance. So it got put out pretty instantly. Now the holes, the slits, the you know where you can shoot someone is very very small. It's going to be hard to shoot someone inside of this vehicle. There's no doubt about that. You sit really low in the vehicle. The windows are tiny, but the fact that you can shoot straight through them is to me a little disappointing. They showed 
absolutely no resistance whatsoever. So that could be pretty tough right there. If someone does manage to get a good shot on the inside, they could take you out a little bit more easier than you wanted to. But like I said, this vehicle has so much armor resistance that even if they get a lot of shots on you, if you're moving, you should be okay. But if someone's able to volley up a couple shots in a row, that's when you might end up getting in trouble. Now, let's test out this vehicle versus sticky bombs. It'll be interesting to see how many explosives this thing can take. So the APC gets a slight bump in damage resistance over its counterpart, the Bravado Half-Track, as it can survive five sticky bombs. So the sixth one is the one that blows it up. So one, two, three, four, five can land on you. Nothing is going to happen, but when that sixth one lands on you, that's when you're going to be in trouble and when it explodes. And I think that puts it more closer on the level of the Insurgent. I can't remember what the Insurgent is, but I think it's the same one where it can take five explosives and then the sixth one gets it. However, we have a different result for the RPGs, which I actually thought was pretty interesting. So it was six sticky bombs, but it actually turns out that it is eight RPGs in order for the APC to explode. So you can see John started with 20 here, and he has to fire until he has 12 remaining in order to blow up the APC. So that means it can survive seven RPG volleys and and then on the eighth one, that's when it's going to get blown up. So pretty cool. If you want to tackle an APC, do not do it with RPGs as it's going to survive a lot longer. You're going to want to use something like uh, sticky bombs or maybe even something else that will probably try and take it out a little bit quicker. Because just doing that, you're not going to have a chance in heck of taking out this vehicle before it ultimately finds you. All right, so that right there is your bullet and armor testing of some of the new weaponized vehicles. Let's take a look at some of the ones we weren't able to get to yesterday. The first of which is the anti-air trailer with the 20 millimeter guns. So this one is pretty cool. I want to show you guys what this looks like in action. And this thing is menacing. It can take out a bunch of people and it actually has pretty good protection on the front. Now you're incredibly exposed on the rear. So that's the strategy for eliminating a vehicle like this. You got to get behind them, kind of get the element of surprise because that's where that guy has like no body armor, or armor plating or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. You can see this vehicle just absolutely shreds through planes and stuff like that. So that's really cool. And then we're going to get to the one with the SAM turret, the homing missiles. This one is epic as well. It has the ability to lock on to enemy aircrafts and enemies in general. And it has a ton of volleys, way more than sixth. So I don't know why it looked a little misleading in the trailer that you would only be able to fire six rounds, but no, there's way more than that. Even though it is limited, I think it's somewhere around 20, so you don't have to be worried about really doing anything that will cause you to run out unless you're just firing them over and over again. I also wanted to show you guys the APC on water. Now, it is significantly slower in the water as compared to land, which you would probably expect. It's not terribly slow, but it's a little bit slower than what you would experience on land. So I, again, that's pretty cool. But I wanted to show you guys what it looks like as we don't have many amphibious vehicles in the game. So I figured that that would be pretty awesome. I'm also going to show you guys what the APC looks like with the SAM missiles. Again, this thing is absolutely menacing. The fact that you can control this by yourself inside of the APC, this thing is pretty lethal. I'm not going to lie. You can drive around the streets of Los Santos and just make an absolute mess. And then the, we've got the rocket bike with full upgrades. The rocket bike is awesome, the oppressor. It's pretty crazy what you can do in terms of gliding, in terms of using your boost, how quickly it recharges. Uh, this bike is gonna be used for a ton of different things. It's a little wacky in my opinion, as far as like how you can cheat gravity by going up and down, but I still think it's a lot of fun. And I know a ton of people are enjoying the oppressor rocket bike. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. I want to show you guys the armor testing, the bullet testing, the explosive testing, as well as some new vehicles that I wasn't able to touch on in the previous video. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.